tool that I wanted to talk to you about is called uh, Flowchart, Flowchart Designer. A few weeks ago, I posted on Twitter about uh, me trying to find a tool for doing flowcharts. Uh, and, you know, I really love this tool called Mind Node on the Mac. It's a Mac only tool uh, that lets you do mind maps. So I wanted something similar and I tried a lot of different things, uh, but I finally found this one. It is really a Mac OS only tool, but you get a Mac version, an iPhone version, and an iPad version. And there's also a free version of the tool that I really like. Uh, so if you just want to try it out, you can try the free version. So this is what the tool looks like. It's pretty awesome. Like you just go in here and you can create some boxes and then inside the boxes you can uh, type in some text. And then from here, you can link this to another box if you want to, or just create an arrow like that. So let's say you grab another box here and then you can actually tie these boxes together with these little arrows, right? So you just tie them to any one of the nodes, which is pretty cool. And then if you move this box, the node kind of moves with it, which I think is pretty, it's exactly what I wanted. And then you can also double click on these notes and then put in a, um, sometimes you add like a yes or a no text uh, explanation here or something like that. It's pretty flexible. It has like a lot of different, um, pre-built styles and the difference between the regular tool and the um, you know the paid version which I think it's only like eight bucks or so is that you get a bunch of other shapes uh, so I think the the shapes that come with the free version are pretty simple uh, and then when you you get the paid version you get just a lot more you know tool like little basic and balloons and air, different kinds of arrows Honestly, not something that you have to have, but definitely something that, you know, if, if you want to support the developer, I think that's a good thing to do. Uh, but I really just love that it's very much like my note. I just put in my little boxes and then I can just uh, go ahead and uh, move them around how I want to. I can put in this little text explanation. If I do want to break apart the graphic, I can do that. Like you just saw there, I can take this arrow off if I want to. I don't know why I would want to. If I want to add like another... Uh, sort of direction for this node. You can just keep on adding uh, these different uh, sort of points to this. So uh, you can make it really complicated if this is getting, you know, if you've got a lot of graphics around this image. Also, like it ex does export. Um, it exported for me uh, as a PDF, which is not as useful, but then it also exported as a PNG image. You do have to watch out because. Uh, to make it, it does allow you to make a graphic transparent, which I think is pretty useful. Uh, but if you want to um, save the PNG image as transparent, you have to come in here and color the background of this, uh, something other than any of these colors actually. So you have to go to custom and then um, find the, you know, the color tool and just make that transparent. Uh, and of course, the reason they do that is because you may not want the, um, you know, the text to be on top of this arrow. So it doesn't erase the arrow. It just puts like a box of the same color as the background behind. Uh, so this is called Flowchart Designer 3. Uh, so again, it's a Mac only app, but it does come with iOS, which I don't know if I would use it on iOS, but maybe for a quick little graph. And also, of course, it's one, one purchase, although there's a free version and you get the iPad and the iPhone and the Mac version as well. It's really cool. A lot of apps are doing that. So this was a win-win-win for me. I really, I needed this for explaining, um, you know, GitHub sort of uh, flowcharts, and this really worked well for me. So it looks like actually people are trying to come into the into the broadcast because I think I put my broadcast link. So I'm not accepting people into the broadcast. Uh, so it looks like Priya and, An and Anka sort of just grab the link that I gave above. And I think there's probably a better link on uh, on LinkedIn. So if anybody can share that, I'll go ahead and add it uh, to the stream. <laughs>